Hello, welcome back to another Excitec Inventor 2017 video. This time we're tackling the thorny subject of appearance overrides inside Inventor assemblies. Why is it a thorny subject? Well, because an appearance override in one place in your model can actually be overridden by an appearance override somewhere else in the model if you're not too careful. Uh, hopefully that will become more clear as we, as we work through this particular problem that we have in front of us, which is that we want to remove all of the appearance overrides through this entire assembly and start again from scratch. So I like beige as much as the next guy, but this, uh, this draw set, in my opinion, needs a bit of a update. So let's see how we get on. Well, the first thing is we might not be, uh, we might think we can just change the uh, material of every part in this assembly. So let's just try doing that. If I drag a box around, every part in this assembly is selected and the assemblies as well. If I change the material up here to something obviously different from what it currently is, if I change it to stainless steel, for instance, and say OK, it has set the material and the appearance for most of the parts in this assembly. And the ones it's, that have changed are the ones that do not have appearance overrides within the parts themselves. So if I click on this side panel here, the material, uh, rather if I hit shift and right click and say I want to pick parts rather than assemblies, if I pick this side panel now, the material is stainless steel, the appearance is the appearance that you would expect for stainless steel, which is semi-polished. However, if I do the same here for one of these edging strips, the material has changed to stainless steel, and the appearance does appear to be the appearance associated with stainless steel, which is semi-polished, but that doesn't look semi-polished to me, that looks like beige. So what's going on is actually inside the part, there's an appearance override on maybe a face of the part, maybe a feature of the part, maybe a solid body of the part, or maybe on the whole top level part itself. So this can be confusing. But before we drill into the parts themselves, let's just take a look at something else that often confuses people. If I hit undo to get back to my original colors, why can't I just drag a box around, pick all the parts here, um, and then choose the appearance that I want to set for them? So if I want to override them all and start off with a nice white draw set again, if I change this to white and say OK, job done, right? Well, actually no, because if I go into these parts, while they're painted white in this assembly, I haven't affected the actual part files themselves at all. So if I open one of these edging parts now, it's not white, it's still my beautiful shade of beige. So when I place this part into another assembly, guess what color it's gonna come in as? Yes, correct, not the color I want. So we're back to square one with that one. Okay, but wait a minute. If you've been around Inventor for a while, you might remember there's uh, some appearance override tools introduced in the 2013 release. These are tools clear and adjust for appearances. That's normally a small button. I've been playing around with that. So this clear button, won't that do it for me? Well, let me just hit undo to get back to where we were. If I hit clear now to strip all the appearances out of this part, uh -oh. So the active design view, the view representation, doesn't contain any appearance overrides because those appearance overrides are in the parts themselves. So the solution, is it that we have to right click on every single one of these parts, go into the part and use this tools clear command inside the part itself? Well, this would do it. If I, if I open the part, say clear, say select all, and then hit the tick, that part is then white in its own context. And if I go back to the assembly, it's white in the assembly context as well. I should say it's not necessarily white, it's the, the color that is appropriate to the material that you assign to it. But uh, we don't really want to uh, go into every single part and hit that appearance clear button up here. What's another option that we've got? Well, we can go to the assemble tab and to bill of materials. Um, you might not be uh, aware of quite how powerful the bill of materials is for bulk edits such as we want to do here. So if I go into the parts only bill, uh, uh, bill of materials view and enable it, then what I can actually do is get an appearance column in here by right clicking and choosing column customization, dragging that up in here, closing that here, and then I could 
drag this smooth white down. I have to make sure I pick it correctly, but if I select smooth white there, if I want to set every component to be smooth white, that will do that for me. I can drag it down and copy and paste just like you would in Excel. And if I hit done here, we're nearly there. It's changed a lot of these edgings because what this operation we just did has done is changed the part um, override appearance inside the parts themselves. So that is correct. If I go into one of these parts, that is white now. It has been set to be smooth white inside the part file itself. So why haven't these top edgings changed? Well, the problem is, as we saw before, these parts have face overrides on them. So if I open up one of these top edgings and click on where well, you can see the color of the part is smooth white. But if I click on one of these faces, the face itself has been overridden to be beige. Why would you override all the faces individually to be beige? Who knows? But uh, sometimes we just can't understand the mysteries of other inventor users practices. So in that scenario, you're back to going into each part and hitting tools appearance clear. So what we've done is just to help you guys out, we've got an iLogic rule, if you hadn't already guessed, to uh, produce all of those overrides. In effect, go into each part and hit the clear appearance button, except it happens a lot faster, of course. So if I just run that rule and these pesky beige edge, uh, edge bands at the top there should, uh, should turn white. Okay, so if I just run that, that works fine. All the appearance overrides have been removed nice uh, all, all the way through the depth of the assembly. And now if I select all of the parts and change the color, sorry, excuse me, if I change the material to something else, like for instance, lead, beautiful lead desk, then we'll see that all of the parts are now taking on the appearance that is appropriate for the material that you assign them to. So you've effectively got um, a blank canvas again to start with. Okay, so check out the iLogic rule that's attached to this blog and I hope you enjoy very much. Thanks a lot.